So question 7 is asking for when the line of y equals 2x plus 1 intersects a graph of y equals x squared plus 5x plus c at two distinct points. Now if we look at a sketch of those two equations, so y equals 2x uh, plus 1 and y equals x squared plus 5x plus c and we set a slider for C, we can see there's two equations, one's a straight line and one is parabola, and as the value of C changes, we see there's two intersections, two intersections, two intersections, as it gets bigger and bigger, we get to a point where eventually there's only one, and then it values where it's bigger. So using this graph, we go down, we can see somewhere around 3.2, 3.3 is where that value is. So that's a rough indication where our answer should be. Let's look at how we solve it algebraically. Where two lines intersect, that means that they share the same x and y values. So we can say if we've got y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals x squared plus 5x plus c, then this y and this y must be the same thing. So I'm going to make 2x plus 1 equal to x squared plus 5x plus c and now I'm going to rearrange to get all my x's onto one side of the equation. So I'm going to minus the 2x from this side. So I'd get x squared plus 3x. And I'm going to minus the 1. So I have plus c minus 1 equals 0. So now we have a quadratic equation equal to 0. And we want to find where it has two distinct points. So we're going to use the discriminant. And when the discriminant is greater than zero, that means there'll be two solutions. So if we use the discriminant formula, b squared minus 4ac, and in this instance, a will be one, b will be three, and c will be c minus one. So we're gonna try and solve when all of that is greater than zero. So b is three, so we've got nine, three squared is nine, minus 4 times 1 times c minus 1 greater than 0 so that means 9 minus 4 c plus 4 is greater than 0 which 9 plus 4 is 13 minus 4 c is greater than 0 so taking the 4 c over to the other side would get 13 is greater than 4 c so c must be less than 13 on 4. And now that we know our answer should be 13 on 4, all of the values that are less than, let's type in c equals 13 on 4 just to double check. And we see that at 13 on 4, it looks like the graphs just touch at one separate point. If we turn that, and you see it's 3.25. So if we go back to our slider at 3.25, Roughly about there, any values less than that, we can see now the graph is cutting it twice at two distinct points.